At its core, Backbone provides a simple set of constructs that can be used independently of each other or in tandem to create highly interactive, rich user experience in a web browser. Throughout this series, we'll build a simple image gallery application by introducing and demonstrating the basics of working with Backbone. There's the main div, which is our primary content area for the app. Right now, we have a very simple form set up inside of this, and we'll be using that form to add images to the app. As we make progress with the app, we'll end up replacing the contents of the main div with other HTML for other purposes. Now within the form, I've included a text box for an image URL, an image tag to show the image being added, and text boxes for the image's name and description. Now we can see this view in action. When we set the URL of the image, the image preview shows it as expected. The difference is that we're now using a backbone view instead of just jQuery. Of course, it's still hard-coded data, and what we really want is data that comes from the server. To fix this, we need to know a little more about our web server, which in this case is running the Sinatra framework on top of Ruby. You can see in the app file that I have several routes to find for our application to serve up. With all of that in place, we can see the edit screen and the existing data when we click on the edit link. If we make an edit and then click save though, we don't see anything happening. There aren't any error messages in the JavaScript console, but there aren't any visual indications that the save actually happened either. When we save the image during the add process, the call to image.select would cause the image view to be shown, but in the edit process, it's slightly different. We haven't deselected the image that we're editing, and the code inside of the select method pays attention to whether or not the image is already selected. We've added a lot of finishing touches to our application in this episode. We're now persisting images to a backend server through a REST-like API that uses JSON as its data transfer format. We can add a new image to the application, and it will save to the server. When we reload the app, our images are still there as expected. We can also edit images that we've previously added. If we don't want the changes that we're making, we can cancel them and roll the changes back. And when an image is no longer needed in the gallery, we can delete it. Navigating back to an image that no longer exists now shows an error message on the screen instead of just an error in the JavaScript console as well.